Honor can refer to a personal or moral code. It can conjure images of awards or accolades. To honor someone or something is to highly regard that entity for its exemplary qualities. Tonight, we induct these young men and women into the National Honor Society. In so doing, we accept them into a prestigious organization, and through them, we uphold the divine child's commitment to goodness with knowledge. The goodness and service they put forth is a value to our community and helps them lead our building through right thought and right action. I would like to invite the members of the National Honor Society to participate in the light ceremony, an act symbolic of the four qualities that each of our members possess. It is for these qualities that they were invited to be members of this distinguished group. The first candle symbolizes the quality of character. Character is that quality that is nurtured and grows and shines from the inside of a person. It is who you really are. Character is the quality that enables you to carry on when others would quit, to push ahead when others would hold back, to be your own person when others try to be everyone but who they really are. The second candle symbolizes the quality of scholarship. Scholarship is a goal which each true student strives to attain. It is always more than book knowledge. True scholarship is a hunger for knowledge and truth. It is one thing to be considered smart. It is entirely another to be called a scholar. The third candle symbolizes the quality of leadership. A leader is someone who is forged into the unknown and is returned to lead others there. The price of true leadership cannot be measured. It will cost you in many ways. You will often be alone, misunderstood, but in the end, you have the courage to believe in your convictions. symbolize the quality of service. The greatest satisfaction you will ever receive in life will come from giving the gift of yourself to another. The talents you possess, the gifts you have received, your potential abilities, all of these have been given to you for more than personal gratification. It is your responsibility to give them to those less fortunate than yourselves, to those who are hungry or thirsty, to those who are hurting or in need, it is your responsibility to use your gifts for the glory of God and for the good of others. May each of you, present members and new members of the National Honor Society, take seriously the responsibility entrusted to you this evening. You have been accepted into a society that sets you apart, yet at the same time commits you to be a servant of others. We now continue the induction ceremony with the conferring of souls. The stole is a sign of the responsibility each member shoulders as he or she accepts the honor of membership. We now invite our inductees to come forward as their names are called to receive their stole from our assistant principal, Mr. Mooney. <laughs> 